Hi, I'm Kevin, a gastroenterologist and an irritable bowel syndrome specialist with NUH. In this video, we will be answering commonly asked questions on the test used to investigate the possible causes of irritable bowel syndrome or IBS for short. Strictly speaking, IBS can be diagnosed based on a person's history. Your doctor may order a stool sample to check for infections or inflammations. A blood test may also be ordered to check for anemia or inflammations or to rule out disease like celiac disease. Depending on your severity or red flags, doctor may also order other investigations such as abdominal imaging using ultrasound, CT scan or MRI to check for any abnormality or endoscopy to rule out cancer or inflammatory bowel disease. It is important to note that not all tests are necessary and your doctor will order the appropriate test according to your symptoms and medical history. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO for short, is a condition in which there is an excessive amount of bacteria in the small intestine, leading to symptoms such as bloating, diarrhea, abdominal pain, or sometimes constipation as well. These are symptoms that are very similar to those of irritable bowel syndrome. Lactose intolerance, in the other hand, is a digestive disorder in which the body is unable to fully digest lactose, a sugar normally found in milk and dairy products. It is believed that SIBO and lactose intolerance may be contributing factors in some cases of IBS. However, it is important to note that not all individuals with IBS have SIBO and lactose intolerance. The diagnosis of SIBO and lactose intolerance requires specific tests. Breath test is one of the tests that we can use to measure the level of hydrogen or methane gas produced by bacteria in the gut and to diagnose SIBO or lactose intolerance. A SIBO test is typically a breath test that measures the level of hydrogen or methane gas produced by bacteria in the gut. The test is simple, non-invasive and can be performed in the procedure office under the supervision of our medical technologies. The test involves drinking a solution containing a type of sugar that is not easily absorbed by the small intestine, for example, lactulose or glucose. The level of hydrogen or methane in the breath is measured at intervals over a period of 3 hours. Elevated level of hydrogen or methane indicate an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. To prepare for this breath test, please follow the following instructions. Avoid taking antibiotics or undergoing colonoscopy 7 days before the breath test. Avoid taking probiotics 3 days before the breath test. Avoid taking high fiber or slow digesting food, example, wholemeal bread, nuts, or yogurt, 12 to 24 hours before the breath test. Here's a suggestion of what your last meal can be before you have to stop taking food. You can have plain steamed white rice, porridge, egg or baked boiled chicken, fish or turkey with salt and pepper as seasoning. Do not take any food 12 hours before the breath test. Only plain water can be consumed. 2 hours before the breath test, Please brush your teeth, do not smoke, and avoid breathing in secondhand smoke as well. Do not consume any fluid, chew gum, or do vigorous exercises. It is important to follow the instruction provided by the doctor or the laboratory performing the test, as the preparation guidelines may vary slightly based on the type of test plan. The lactose breath test measures the level of hydrogens in the breath to diagnose lactose intolerance. The test involves drinking a solution containing lactose and then measuring the levels of hydrogen in the breath at intervals over a period of 3 hours. Elevated levels of hydrogen indicate that lactose is not being properly digested and absorbed in the small intestine. To prepare for the lactose breath test, you can follow the same guidelines as SIBO test. It is important to note that the lactose breath test is not the only test used to diagnose lactose intolerance. Other tests such as lactose tolerance test or stool acidity test may also be used. You will be given a mouthwash to gurgle for 30 seconds to prevent contamination of the sample by oral flora. You will be given a test drink diluted according to your body weight. Step 1. Take a normal breath, then close your mouth around the mouthpiece and exhale smoothly. Continue exhaling into the mouthpiece to keep the back inflated. Step 2. The medical technologist will collect the breath sample in a syringe and analyze using a machine. Step 1 and 2 will be repeated at predetermined in time intervals. Complete the form given with the sampling times and symptoms. Remember, you should not drink, eat, sleep, or chew gum candy during this test as it will invalidate the test. 
We hope this video can help you have a better understanding on the diagnostic tests for IBS, SIBO and lactose intolerance. To learn more about IBS, do talk to your healthcare provider or visit the NUH website in the link below. Thank you and bye!